Ten and Kofu Kase. Uh, there's a group that was going to have a convention in Ghana and Ikufu, I can't sell near the day, and people were angry. You deserve to be angry. But the issue here is when another Danko Ikufu came to power from 2016 to 2020, from 2017 to 2020, we were on TV every day and we were telling young Ghanaians and Ghanaians, say, if we give this guy an opportunity, he will destroy us. We were telling young Ghanaians because the issue is if we had all come out to add our voice in 20, from 2017 to 2020, Nanado Dan Kweku Fuado and the MP would have never gotten a second chance. So when I see young men in Ghana today saying they are leading a force, they are leading a force, you can never lead a force when you are being led by a tyrant. Never. Let me state this again. A third force can never succeed in Ghana when you have a tyrant as a leader. So, when I was listening to some of you with the pain in your hearts, we have created this because we had the opportunity to allow people who understand and believe in democracy to lead us, to give us the opportunity to tell the world that we young people can also lead after them. The person who is leading the democracy today, you see or think is democracy, does not believe in the democracy. Until you get an environment that is conducive enough, an environment that believes in democracy enough, you cannot bring out a new generation to lead. So our mistake was sitting back and making it look like, we there, we are fine. Let the foolish ones do politics. And another Dan Kufuado penetrated and entered the cracks. And now... Until the Kufuado is out of the picture, until the NPP is out of the picture, nobody can call himself, me, I'm a young man, I want to lead. You are lying, you're a joker. When was the last time you saw a young man or any group of people succeed in a vote, in, 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 in a host? <laughs> Uh, yeah, the new force team, I was here, we watch the same. What they ever get to some my grandma, and I'm so my mom for who do be a story at piano. Tabaka said, Kelvin Taylor, and so Edna, no, I see you are what you say. So, will be a bit man, a year or my grandma. It is never under uh, NPP government, and I say, Kufa do government. And to me, any possible, I said, a uh, Kufa do the government, and I say, young said, President, and I'm not Kufa do any NPP government. It is never possible to be better me arrive to say, or the sound of my gun. I just said, in your leader, Papa, or with me, agree with the people. And son, who a year I didn't say, and I saw who a good way to me at the Abuakana. You are going to go to your child, tell us to answer more. You have a teacher, a fire sheet that you name message or the number of the saga in a year. A being serious, a being so serious, and now you support me, you can support me. You are going to go to your child, tell us any more. Ten and Kofuaka said, There's a group that was going to have a convention in Ghana and Ikufu, I can't sell near the day, and people were angry. You deserve to be angry. But the issue here is when another Danko Ikufu came to power from 2016 to 2020, from 2017 to 2020, we were on TV every day and we were telling young Ghanaians and Ghanaians, say, If we give this guy an opportunity, he will destroy us. We were telling young Ghanaians because the issue is. If we had all come out to add our voice in 20, from 2017 to 2020, Nanado Dan Kweku Fuado and the MP would have never gotten a second chance. So when I see young men in Ghana today saying they are leading a force, they are leading a force, you can never lead a force when you are being led by a tyrant. Never. Let me state this again. A third force can never succeed in Ghana when you have a tyrant as a leader. So... When I was listening to some of you with the pain in your hearts, we have created this because we had the opportunity to allow people who understand and believe in democracy to lead us, to give us the opportunity to tell the world that we young people can also lead after them. The person who is leading the democracy today, you see or think is democracy, does not believe in the democracy. Until you get an environment that is conducive enough, an environment that believes in democracy enough, you cannot bring out a new generation to lead. So our mistake was sitting back and making it look like, we there, we are fine. Let the foolish ones do politics. And another Dan Kweku Fuado penetrated and entered the cracks. And now, 
until the Kufar is out of the picture, until the NPP is out of the picture, nobody can call himself, me, I'm a young man, I want to lead. You are lying, you're a joker. When was the last time you saw a young man or any group of people succeed in a in a, in a, in a, in a, in a vote, vote in, 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 in a hostile environment? You can't. You cannot build a democratic group inside a hostile environment. You can't do it. All the young Democrats, all the young people who have succeeded in becoming democratic figures or uh, groups, they all thrived in an environment where people who were leading them believed in democracy. So the noise you people are making, I respect it. It hurts, but we have caused it. If you have a tyrant, you can do anything. That is why a simple convention couldn't happen. If you're being led by a leader who does not respect your rights, there's nothing you can do. You can go bring all the serious talkers in the world. The party that is leading the, leading the country, the leadership, don't believe in democracy. You, these young men who are, who are, who are pissed off, angered, saying things. If the president believed in democracy, this wouldn't have happened. If you people sit there and start to make noise, Ekufuara does not give a heck about any of you who wants to have a new party, a movement. You are jokers to him because you have a block that we all need to come together and break down. After we break down that block, then we can go forward and see where our freedom is. We don't have any freedom today. Anybody walking in Ghana saying freedom, freedom, you're a joker. When one man can stop thousands of people, thousands of people from expressing their interests and what they believe in, you have to understand you are a slave in your own country. Why can't you all come together and stop this? Vote, speak against this government. Let them go into opposition and have a leader and have a government. At least when you compare the two governments, the two parties, there's one that has always respected that has always respected the views and allowed you Ghanaians, you people, majority of you people got your money because you lived in a country where the country allowed you people to thrive. You people cannot make any difference. It hurts me to say this. You people, calling yourselves what, 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 you can't make any difference. <laughs> Maybe I didn't mind using control, the emphasis matter.